I mean, it means the world to me. I have three younger siblings. All of them play sports. All of them have asked me every single day. My, my little 11-year-old brother asked me where I'm going to go to college pretty much every day. Bryson Grabowski's little brother can rest easy tonight. Bryson made his mind up and signed with Western Carolina today. He's one of more than two dozen local players that signed today, but Bryson's story is a little different. The Copper Basin gunslinger had a major setback his senior season with an ACL injury, so his scholarship was no guarantee. With the injury happening, it was something that this opportunity coming along wasn't something I was really expecting, especially at such a high level playing for Western Carolina in the SoCon and getting to play at the Division One level. It's, I mean, it's just it's a weight lift off my shoulders, but at the same time, it's the most exciting thing ever. Grabowski will redshirt at quarterback for Western Carolina this fall. And McCauley, by the way, six players signed on National Signing Day early this morning. Two to some pretty big schools. Star running back B.J. Harris to Missouri and wideout Eric Rivers to Memphis. I think the atmosphere that they're building around there, the coaches definitely, I think it's a great environment for me to grow and develop as a person. So I think I'll be successful there, so that's why I chose to go there. I know it's going to be tough, but I think uh, everything I've learned at Macaulay is teaching me to always improve and um, adjust to the environment. That was just two of Macaulay's six signees today for the rest at Macaulay and the 15 plus more locals from the area that signed today on National Signing Day. Sports reporter Ped Bobick has all of it covered in maybe two or three breaths. National Signing Day is like a wild goose chase trying to track down all the local athletes who are signing and where they're going. In reality, it's a good thing because we have so many local student athletes continuing their careers at the next level. Here's a look at some more who signed on the dotted line on Wednesday. The morning kicked off at the Macaulay School where six young men signed on the dotted line. Among them, the gentle twins, Jack and Austin, who are not just going to school to play football together, they're going to Harvard. We're just kind of realizing that it's happening and our family is too. We got all the Harvard stuff on over there. So, just so excited about this opportunity. A few more two-time state champs signed as well with Jackson Burns heading to Cookville to Tennessee Tech and John David Tessman to Davidson College. Down in North Georgia, Ringgold Scott Clinton signed with Shorter College. Across town at Heritage, Zach Brown is also going to Shorter and Jonathan Washburn is staying in state by heading to Athens to play for the Dogs. Up in Bradley County, Walker Valley's Brody Swafford is off to Nashville to play for Austin P. and Bradley Central's Kate and more is heading to Tusculum. In the afternoon slate at Boyd Buchanan, a trio of bucks are off to the next level. Jamichael McGoy is the newest Skyhawk at UT Martin. Luke Stum is going to Center College, and Julian Waters is going to the University of the Cumberlands. I'm most looking forward to you know the bond I'm gonna make with the, the teammates and the, the coaches, and just you know learning how to be a man and grow as a man. It meant a lot to me, just for me and my family, because they've done so much for more, done so much for me, and just you know really bent over backwards and done everything that they can to give me the life that I, I needed to get to where I am today. Down the road at Red Bank, Jaden High is going to Tusculum, and Seth McReynolds Lacey is going to the University of the Cumberlands as well. Joining him there are the Scott twins from Chattanooga. The Christian School, Tink and Cheese, along with teammate Jamichael Baxter, who signed with Tusculum. It's a genuine place, and it's uh, faith-based, you know, and um, they, they genuine people, you know. Coach just said we, he invited us over to his house, and that's when I knew. Being together, you know, we don't want to separate, so we just chose based off, you know, we want to go to the same place, don't want to separate, just being together. Congratulations to all our local student athletes and their parents and family as well. They can go unnoticed in this process too. Of course, for more on National Signing Day here locally, there's always more online at WRCBTV.com or inside our app. In the studio, Ben Bobick, Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports. Thank you, Ben. Believe it or not, we're not done. Quickly, two more late local players signed. McMean County's Garrett Priest and Bode Patton signed with Tusculum today.